Uh, hello everyone, uh, welcome to another video of View Construct and in this video I'm going to talk about a new feature I've been working on um, which is the blueprint system. So the blueprint system, oops the window's too big, one sec. There you go. Um, so the blueprint system are a way for you to save a preset of data. So let's say we have a certain demo or just a certain set of buildings and we want to save this data and then every mesh or prefab we assign, we assign to this data is going to um, receive the, the data of that preset and it's just going to act with the data we, we gave it so just the best way to show this thing in it, it th this feature is just to actually show you show it on on uh, runtime so let me just go ahead and show you how it works I'm going to choose it here a random floor for the foundation field actually this is a not gonna work with exterior because exterior uh, floor is just a cube so I'm gonna choose the interior one which is an actual flat foundation I'm gonna choose in here a random floor all right so that's the cool thing about it now even though this 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 is different mesh than the one I've started on it still really gets all the size it gets the exact the exact size it gets the all the conditions all the sockets and all the positioning are correct as well now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and show you how it actually works. So as I just said, the the uh, so the blueprint is just basically a, a, a set of data, right? Um, and the cool thing about it is that you can create your own as well. Now I have in here uh, three three uh, blueprints that comes with the asset. Two of them are based on 3D Forge demos I've made. If you actually checked out the th the thread images, you should know what I mean. And um, the cool thing about those two is that they aren't limited to the 3D Forge assets. So you can you can get any other asset um, to that preset and to the blueprint, and it's gonna work a, as intended as well. So what we have in here, as you can see, for each blueprint we have a list of fields. Those fields can be changed and deleted, and you can also add new fields as well by just clicking on the plus button. You cannot uh, add fields that already exist, obviously. But let's go. Um, let's say I'm just gonna add, uh, add in here into the exterior. Um, a prop in here. I'm just gonna choose in here chest, which is one of the props we have for the creeps demo. I'm gonna click down. As you can see, there's a new um, field added to the to the 3D Forge exterior uh, blueprint. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete because it doesn't belong there. Apply changes. And I'm gonna show you how. I'm now going to show you how you can create your own blueprint. Click on the plus button in here on the blueprint section, and you can see there's now gonna be a new blueprint created. Let's call this one test blueprint. Apply changes, and then just 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 you can create your own blueprints and whatever. But let's say I've made a foundation here, and I chose let's say I don't know this foundation here. But I don't want this foundation. I want something else. We have two ways to f to fix this. One of them is to delete the foundation and re and re choose another one. But the easiest way is just to click on the arrow arrow in here or double click the actual um, field itself. And just choose in here on the export and sorry and apply target the, another foundation. So let's choose this one for example, which is the inter, uh, interior foundation. And as you can see it's gonna work. Now the apply target is just I just said a second ago is the actual uh, preset of data we're gonna use. The export target is what building is going to get that data. Okay, so um, let's do this blueprint here. This blueprint here. So after we got the basics of what the blueprint are and the blueprints are and what they actually do and how you actually use them, now I'm going to show you how you what what are the actual advantages advantages of using them. So the first advantage is just, uh, the first advantage is that as we saw a second ago, you can get any mesh or any mo or any uh, prefab to get the building. Um, that are instantly. You don't need to do anything. Just click one button and you got it working instantly. And one of the actual cool features about it, let me just show you. If I'm gonna go into the blueprints, then 3D Forge Interior, and click on the foundation field, I can literally take an unrelated um, mesh. Let's choose in here, for example, the bed. I'm gonna go ahead and export it to the bed. And as you can see, even the bed, which isn't even close to be a foundation, even though the size is different, the mesh is different. It's going to become a foundation with all the sockets, all the conditions, the exact size all of the um, colliders with literally one click of a button so this is really insane and the actual the coolest thing about it is because in the news in the new version when I'm go the version that uh, is going to include this ver this uh, feature is also going to to give the ability to to um, to actually cre create create uh, uh, sockets and conditions on runtime this is going to allow you to 
if you're going to let your player uh, create sockets and uh, conditions in runtime, they can send it through network. But the, the best thing about this part in here is that even if you just use it for single player, you could actually create blueprint on runtime. And the, the actual amazing thing in here that because I've been using um, some uh, uh, classes that I have for the saving system, which is serializable, you could actually serialize this scripted object as well and send it over the network or you know just create this runtime if you make a single player game but this is the really cool thing about it you can actually share this through through, ne through network and you can have other clients have the same blueprint as this as this client has and this is a really cool feature now this is intended for editor obviously but the coolest thing about it is it can also be used for runtime so you aren't limited to anything you can use it on runtime or editor uh, depends on how you like it and because I've done some uh, because I, because I, this is seems this seems to be a really requ requested feature, I've um, I spent time making this work on Runtime as well. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any more questions or more requests, I'll be sure to reply as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, that's there's probably more things. Th there is actually more things to the to the blueprint, but um, I just want to let you guys discover it your own, on your own. But yeah, I just show you the basics. Uh, so again, if you have any more questions, just email me and I'll be sure to reply as soon as possible and that's it bye bye guys